you wrote a play based on the letters of Albert Einstein, mm -hmm, yeah. and you wrote a play about Marie Curie called Radiance. We saw a bit of both um, in the opening video. Marie Curie's life in particular is very rich material for a playwright. Why did she strike you? Well, because I knew, a little, here was the story of that. I knew a little about her life, and I thought it would be great for the World Science Festival if I did a reading of her letters, because I, I thought through her letters, an interesting life would come out. And then I found out that her letters are still in the library in Paris, and they're still radioactive. <laughs> and you have to sign a piece of paper that says roughly, je understand because you could die. <laughs> so, so I switched to Einstein. <laughs> and then, and then I, I realized what a wonderful life she really had, and I decided to write a full, a full kind of play about her. What was it about her life that, that struck you? You know what it was that really, when I, the more I learned about Marie, and she became Marie to me. I, of course. I mean, I, I, I felt very close to her. She became, for me, someone who simply wouldn't give up. She had so many obstacles in her life. The science itself, the fact that she was discovering radioactivity, something she didn't even know what it was. She, it was by accident. Mm -hmm. she, she thought she was measuring the radiation coming out of uranium. And then she realized it was radiation coming out of stuff that had no uranium in it. So it was, it was a, 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 a true discovery. So that was, she had to dig through seven tons of ore herself and boil it down. It took years and hard work and smelling the acid fumes. And then after all of that, she was facing the obstacle of being considered just a woman. She did most of the work, had the insights, and they wanted to give the Nobel Prize to her husband. So she had nothing but obstacles, but she never gave up. And it's hard to write a play, and every time I, my spirits would flag, she was my hero, and she was the one, in a way, saying to me, what, schmuck, don't give up. <laughs> it's funny that she was- She said it in English? Yeah. <laughs>